Hello, today I would like to show you another electronic video just straight from my life and my washing machine died it absolutely do not show anything on the front panel on the display no even uh, any LED and I have to open this unit as you can see I've got the whole front, front panel this is the model number and I'm going to post it in the description so here we've got our control and this is our board and where is the, the problem first of all I do not advise you to touching that part because these capacitors stay energized and I learned that the hard way and it was painful and this is this is the problem in that section this is this is where the input power came and this is the high voltage part you can see that from the rating of the of the capacitors maybe not that one but this one is clearly 400 volts so this is the high voltage part and we do not like to mess with that and that element exploded please focus and I had enough look to I was lucky enough to find that piece so I can get a name of the IC and here I've got a replacement so you do not need to this is the device that you have to replace to make it working again and I'm pretty sure that something else caused that that I see to blown and my first guess would be that diode because it's we can see a black indication on the on the PCB just around this diode and I I assume that that might be also blown that that my that was might be a starting point that lead to that I see blown I'm going to I'm going to test it so let's see and unlucky we this diode is okay as you can see I leave that one leg for the test that's how I like to to test devices like this I don't want to do that in circuit because sometimes there is something in parallel and that may give you a wrong reading so I would like to leave that but the two component even if have that burn mark they are okay so I'm going to put new IC and I'm going to try to power it on and we are going to see if it will explode again this is how it looks after removing everything is laminated and that doesn't help while soldering but as you can see I managed to remove and now we are going to try to solder the new IC and you cannot make it wrong way because there is a one pin missing so you can only align that properly and it's done I managed to solder this I'm not proud it's not aligned properly but I'm pretty sure that it will do the job I will try to power it on and see if the AC to DC converter will be working and give us a, I believe 5 volt for the CPU let's try it okay so I put everything back I'm connected in 
very unsafe manner just to my power outlet that's why you can hear the UPS because I, I disconnect everything I'm wearing the insulating glove just in case I have to grab one of the cables very quickly and we can try to power it on and we hope the IC not blown and looks working the CPU must be working because the LED is blinking and let's take a look we can change the settings so yes that looks like this looks working of course I'm going to put before posting that video I'm going to put this inside the washing machine and check if we have a good good wash so thank you very much for watching this is how you can fix your device just by replacing that one IC thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye